Hello everybody, this is Smriti and today I have a decoupage tray for you. The products that I will be using are all from Craft Angles and written in the description below. So don't worry about it, right? Here what I am doing is I'm prepping and priming my tray after sanding and cleaning it of course with Craft Angles chalky paint, white color. And I really found this to be really amazing paint. Next, I am going to decide on the paper and then cut it to the size of the tray that I want to place it in. See, it looks nice. Now, after this, what I wanted to do was I wanted to cover the sides of the tree, but I did not have enough paper left. So here I'm going to share a technique that when you do not have enough paper and you still want to do something, what can you do? See, what have I done? I have cut strips of paper. These are one inch strips of paper and I'm going to place it at a distance in such a way that it will give you an illusion that I have painted stripes on this tree. Can you see? Yeah. Then I'm going to take this pink color and I'm going to paint all the sides of the tray, leaving the area where I want to uh, paste the paper. I'm going to do the back, the sides, the handles, everything. Once it is dried, I'm going to use decoupage glue from Craft Angles and I'm going to apply it on the paper first and keep it aside. Then I'm going to pour it on the tray that I will be applying the paper to. With my squeegee, I'm going to spread this glue all over so that it spreads evenly. Then I'm going to take the paper back and I'm going to place it, eyeball it in such a way that I make sure that it is in the center and all the corners are well in place and nothing is folded. Starting from the center, I start pressing the paper down and then with a little drag, I'm going to press it from the center towards the outside making sure that there are no bubbles left in this. Once I'm done with this, then is the next step. The next step is to seal your paper properly with the decoupage glue. Yes, here you can see me uh, doing so. So I'm going to seal this paper completely nicely. Look, it is all ready for the next step. So I'm going to do the sides. Here you can see that I have already done the sides first, then the center. So I am left with two panels. Then again, I start applying the paper in the center. When I'm doing this, basically what I'm doing is avoiding all the hassle of measuring and everything and I can just eyeball it where the center is and make sure that the stripes that I'm creating are all equal kind of. So I'm going to finish this side off and then I'm going to do all the other four sides. The two sides are plain and two sides have a handle cut out. Of course, in that handle that is cut out, I will be doing sanding. So to make sure that it gives us a clean edge. You will see me doing that just in a bit. But here I just wanted to give you a complete picture. See, can you see me doing that? Yeah. So here you can see the neatness and the cleanliness that I, you can get with sanding. Now we are ready for the next step. Now I'm going to use a contrasting color. Over here I basically like this particular color from Craft Angles. And I'm going to use very, very little of it. Take the excess off in the palette or the plate, whatever you are using. And just basically do dry brushing. Yes, this is another technique which I wanted to teach you over here. This is dry brushing. Basically, it enhances and brings out the texture that the chalky paint leaves behind. See, look at this. Isn't this really nice? It does not cover completely, yet it gives a beautiful texture. Now, I'm going to use this Opal Magic and basically what I'm going to do, this is basically a wax and I'm going to seal off my edges, just the edges of the tray, the uh, edges of the tray on the top and the handle as well, right? This is a very, very beautiful and a very easy thing to do. You just have to do it with your fingertips, yeah. Now, Craft Angles has come out with the decoupage varnish and believe you me, it is fantabulous. What I have done here is that I have mixed a little bit of rainbow shimmer that I sourced personally into this uh, varnish and now I am going to varnish this entire tray with this and the effect that will come is just mind blowing. You know you can uh, sprinkle shimmer on the top and you can uh, mix shimmer in your varnish like so and then when you do it the coverage is very even and very beautiful, very nice. I hope you really like this technique. Look at this, such a beautiful finish. So now we are ready for the last step, liquid glaze. Yes, this is a fantabulous product which I wanted to share with you. This is something which will actually replace the last raisin coat if you want to do it on your tray. 
you know this is so easy just pour and brush that's it no mixing no ratios no nothing and if you feel that you need a little bit more just pour a little bit more the more you pour the thicker it is it will actually give you a beautiful coverage and beautiful uh, cover and it is uh, very very hassle free and very clear when it dries and very hard my tray is ready we will lay it flat so that you know it can set the liquid glaze can set the tray is ready i hope i've inspired you thank you for stopping by and do leave me comments and suggestions what would you like to learn thank you bye bye